129 fugitives accused of economic crimes as part of an aggressive anti-corruption effort targeting individuals who have fled abroad. And this includes 149 who turned themselves in by a December 1st deadline set by Chinese authorities. Accused persons were promised leniency if they surrendered by that date. Honat has this report. After three years on the run, Mr. Chen finally decided to return to China and turn himself in to the authorities. It's the first time he's back after fleeing to Mexico three years ago. I had complex feelings of excitement and nervousness after I got on the plane. My blood pressure kept jumping high. I grew up in China and the feeling of not being able to go back home gave me sleepless nights. Chen allegedly embezzled millions of dollars from the company he'd been working for and was placed under investigations in 2010. He fled to Mexico and began his life as a fugitive. Looking back, he calls it a nightmare and said his biggest regret was missing his daughter's wedding. Because of the language barrier, it's very difficult to survive in other countries. I missed my family so much and I felt so guilty for them. Chen is one of many fugitives accused of economic crimes to return home. China launched its Fox Hunt 2014 operation in July, targeting corrupt officials and suspects in economic crimes who have fled the country. The goal is to block the last route of retreat for corrupt officials involved in ongoing crackdowns and narrow the space for abuse of power. The Chinese Foreign Ministry has also said it is determined to fight corruption and express the hope of continued international cooperation. China has been actively seeking bilateral judicial assistance with other countries. We've signed an agreement on judicial assistance, extradition, and the transferring of convicted persons with around 63 countries. We hope to expand cooperation with relevant countries to pursue fleeing officials and their party source. And together, combat crimes of corruption. Corrupt Chinese officials have been fleeing abroad for decades, transferring assets worth many billions of dollars overseas through money laundering and underground banks. China continues to face difficulties in the return of these fled officials due to a lack of bilateral extradition treaties and political and legal problems with some countries, including the United States, Canada and Australia, three popular destinations for Chinese economic powers. Three co-founders of the, the Occupy Central Movement have said they will CCTV. surrender to the police on Wednesday. At a press conference on Tuesday afternoon, Benny Tai, Chu Yi Ming and Chen Kin Man urged protesters, including students, to leave the Occupy areas amid fears of violence. They also admitted that they had participated in gatherings in occupied areas and that the action may constitute a crime. Meanwhile, a Hong Kong student protest leader also said on Tuesday that he and two other members of his group would go on an indefinite hunger strike to press their demands. Over two months since the protest began, demonstrators have continued blocking multiple sites in Admiralty, and there were several confrontations between police and demonstrators outside government headquarters on Sunday night and Monday morning. Also in a speech before a legislative council meeting, Chief Problem Executive Meng Chung in HIV AIDS in China. The general elections should drugs be in line with club drugs, basic like eyes and rest, and regulations, usually resulted in...